This is the Tesla case study video review. I'm going to uh, analyze Tesla's strategic control. So I think they have more of a traditional strategic control, meaning that strategies are formulated and top management sets goals and they implemented. So in the case study it says that the goals for Tesla are to be selling roadsters by 2006 and to be profitable by, by 2008, which were actually very o overly optimistic. And also in traditional strate strategic control, performance is measured against the predetermined pre pre goal set. I think that Tesla's goals were very uh, not broad and not very they could have had a lot more detail to them. So, an improvement they could have made with those goals, they could have made it a contemporary strategic control, meaning that they gather and analyze information from internal and external environment to find their best fit, meaning that they could have found internal and external information from their competitors, such as how and when they sell electronic vehicles or electric, electric vehicles and what kind of markets they sell them in and everything along the lines of that and another thing they could have did a better job at is their behavioral control which is another part of the contemporary strategic control that's where the Tesla could have influenced the actions of their employees through having positive reinforcements incentives for doing a good job and wanting them to keep doing a good job at building cars.